Hi mamas, this is Eve of Christian Homeschool Mom and I'm glad you're joining me here today. Last week, I shared about the second reason why we chose to homeschool. And if you haven't listened to it yet, please do listen to the last two weeks of my podcast where I shared the two main reasons why we chose to homeschool our children. And in today's podcast, I will be sharing how we homeschool. And is it legal to homeschool in Ireland? So I'll be discussing this two things to you today. First, let me answer the second question that I asked there. Is it legal to homeschool in Ireland? And the answer is yes, it is fully legal to homeschool. I've talked to some mothers, believers and unbelievers, and when they ask about my children, which school they go to, you know, what class are they in, I would say I'm homeschooling them. And some mom I've talked to ask me, like, can, can you homeschool? Is it legal? I even talked to one mom, and she homeschooled her children during the, the COVID pandemic, oh, pandemic or pandemic, but <laughs> she's now back to school. Okay. She was told by the school officials that she can't homeschool her daughter. So I said, yes, you can homeschool. It is your right to homeschool. It is in Irish constitution, the right to educate our children at home. It is in Article 42.2. And also, it says there that the state acknowledges that the primary and the natural educator of the child is the family. So... The right to educate our children at home is totally legal. So that's not illegal, mamas. It is totally legal. It is in the Irish Constitution, Article 42.2. Okay. So the state, however, as a guardian of the common good, require in view of actual conditions the children receive a certain minimum education, moral, intellectual, and social. So that's why now there is a form that... And they ask you to fill out from TUSLA and it is for you to register your children if you decided to homeschool your children. So I've gone through those. So I've talked to TUSLA about it. So the last last September, we had someone here that came over to our house from TUSLA and made an assessment We have to register our son, Michael, and then they also did a follow-up assessment to my older children, Mary and James. So it all went well, thanks be to God. So basically, they just really want to know that the children are getting education. They call it the minimum education, but they didn't really define what that is. But basically, as parents, we have the rights to, of course, homeschool our children but it's also the children's rights to get education. So we can put it that way that in a way we have this right and we want to make sure it's not just our right, but because it's also our God-given responsibility to home educate our children. So it is totally legal. So after we have learned that, of course, it's our constitutional right to educate our children at home, the question is, how do we do it? You know, some children, parents will say, well, I am not educated. I didn't have any qualification. I wasn't, I didn't get a degree in home education. You know, so I'm not brainy, da 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 and so on and so forth. So let me just stop you there, mom. I just want to let you know that you are more than capable to do it. You are more than qualified that you realize so God called you to be the parents of your children so God gave you that responsibility to home educate so how we do it so there's not one 
size fits all, you know. So every family is different. So there's no specific rules for you that you have to do this and that and the other. So it really depends on your family because every family is different. So just like I said, it's not like one size fits all and you have to know what would work for you and your family, your children. Every family has their own way of homeschooling. So there's different approaches. I've heard some people homeschooling, they are using classical, some are using Charlotte Mason. There's natural learning, unschooling. I even heard of de-schooling. So there's distance learning. So different ways of approach. So depending on the families, uh, what work best for them. And sometimes you can change. And some have curriculums that they use because they want the structure. So it really depends. Me as a, as a Christian homeschool mom, like this is my podcast title, um, I want my children, I want to give them first Jesus. So I want them to know that God made them and he has a purpose for them. So we use a curriculum. So that's our choice. So called ACE curriculum. And my daughter is now 14 years old and she's on general certificate ICCE. You know, so that is the ICC certificate that she is doing at the moment. So my other younger children, they are 10, 7, and 5. So they're all using their paces. So it's called ACE. It's Accelerated Christian Education. So we have a routine already. So we already have a routine after all the years. I've been homeschooling for nine and a half years now. So um, from morning The children already knows because they can read already, let's say, Mary, James, and Michael. So when they get up, they would be reading their own Bible reading pace. And then we're going to have our, what, what, we'll have our breakfast together. And then we're going to be having our Bible reading time as a family. We have a morning devotion. We'll read a chapter of a book. We'll discuss about it. Or their dad will be having a topic that he wanted to discuss to them. And then they can share what's their thoughts. So we'll discuss and we'll pray. So basically, that is our morning routine. Then after the breakfast, is not, you're not just teaching them the different topics. But they know that after breakfast, we all need to help together. We clean up the kitchen. So that's the normal thing. They would clean the table, wash the dishes, dry the dishes, or empty the dishwasher and put them in the dishwasher. And they will do their chores. Either it's feeding the dog and watering the plants. So everyone has chores to do. And then after that, we will go through then their paces and we'll work on their language, literature, creative writing, their word building, and math, science, social studies, biblical studies, Bible reading. So basically, that is our routine. We go through those different subjects, and I believe those subjects are good. But most important is to teach them Jesus. So all of these subjects that we are going through, it all helps them to be strong in their faith because it's God-centered. It has a biblical worldview. So we're training their hearts. We're training their minds to love God with all their heart, with all their soul, and with all their might. So that is basically how we homeschool. But you're not just teaching them these subjects, like I said. So you're teaching them as well different skills that they can do so we go and we do some hiking we go to the mountain you know so they will learn different skills we do sometimes bushcraft and sometimes we do fishing and their dad would sometimes you know we as a family we love outdoors so we're going to be sometimes doing snorkeling we do caving so we do different things where they can see how wonderful god is either it's in the cave they can see the stalactites all of that amazing things that you can see in the cave you know so if we go snorkeling we go swimming in the sea then they can see like the wonderful fish that god made and even the little things that they can see 
under the sea. You know, either it is crab, either it is shrimp, you know, lovely, beautiful little fish under the sea. So they can still see God's nature, even if they are doing planting. So they are learning these things when they are doing gardening. Either they're planting potatoes, they're planting apple trees, lemons, you can name it. So they're learning the skills, how to do gardening. So they would learn then how to plant their own vegetables, how to plant their own fruits. So these are all skills that they're also learning. We also go to different galleries and museum here in dublin there are free loads of different museums and galleries so we go to them and different libraries where they could learn and they could see the history of ireland through this museum and other things that they could learn so the last time when we went to galway and um, we have learned a lot because when we went there, we went to the Lost Valley tour. And in that tour, Mr. Burke that owns the, the place that toured us um, showed us about the, the history of the famine, as they call it during that time in 1800s. There, the children have seen the different places and compared the different houses that are now ruined of course and they have seen they can still see the potato ridges you know that's already it's still there that and we have heard the stories of how the Irish people were evacuated and how they died and it's very sad it's very sad but this is history that they are learning not just from the books, but also from other people, but because we also went to the place and they can see it. So there's different ways to homeschool your children. And it is really depending on your family, how you would like to to do it and what would work for you. But these are just our ways. Our family would be different, of course, from yours, but that is how we're doing at the moment. Whatever works for you, ask God to guide you and give you wisdom and he will surely help you and I want to end this podcast in the book of Psalms chapter 1 verse 1 blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the way of sinners nor sits in the seat of the scornful verse 2 but his delight is in the law of the Lord and in his law does he meditate day and night. That is a powerful, powerful book of Psalms, verses 1 and 2. Now we can change the word man in bless one to child. Blessed is the child that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. So I pray that whatever you choose, either you choose a curriculum or you choose not to use a curriculum, however you wanted it to do, may God guide you. But as long the main thing is we train our children to know the Lord Jesus, to love him, we, we equip them so they will be ready for the future. We give them what they need and we give them God's word because they will be blessed if they will be delighting in God's word day and night. If they will not walk in the counsel of the ungodly, if they will not stand in the way of sinners, if they will not sit in the skit in the seat of the scornful of the mockers. So I pray that God guide you as you guide your children in homeschooling. Let's pray, mamas. Lord Jesus, you know the moms that are listening today. I just ask you, Lord, to please help her. Help them, Lord, as they homeschool their children. Encourage them, God, and give them wisdom with regards to curriculum, with regards to what ways they want to do it, either without a curriculum, Lord, you can always make a way, Jesus. 
Help them, Lord, to train their children that their hearts and their mind, oh God, will be focusing on loving you, serving you, and giving you their love, their heart, and their strength. So Jesus, bless his parents. Thank you. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. So thanks, mamas, for your time again today. And if you find that this podcast is a blessing, can you please share and uh, subscribe and follow this channel so you won't miss a show. And I pray that I'll see you again next week and we can discuss more topics of raising godly children. Thank you for your time. God bless. Bye-bye.